uh, I'm Tian Yu. Uh, I'm a graduate student at Virginia Tech, originally from Shanghai, China. Just want to share with you some history and traditions about the Lunar New Year or the Chinese New Year or Spring Festival. Uh, it's typically on a different date every year in Gregorian calendar um, because, as the name suggests, it's based on the lunar calendar. Um, in, in lunar calendar, it aligns really well with astronomical events like equinox and solstice. Um, so traditionally, um, people would use it as an almanac for agricultural production, and that's why it was uh, almost like a dominant way to record dates in, uh, in the past. Um, in terms of celebrations, um, the new year lasts for around 15 days, and there's a seven-day public holiday. Um, and uh, one of the common theme is to have a family reunion, so it becomes notoriously hard to get a plane or a train ticket because everybody else has the same, same idea. Um, also, um, on New, Year, New Year's Eve, um, it's tra tradition to have a family feast. Um, depends on your family recipe or depends on where, where you're from. Uh, the, the menu is going to be quite different, but one of the recurring items on the menu would be dumpling. It, it doesn't look like a pierogi, but it's made from a sticky rice rice flour on the outside with some kind of filling on the inside. It can be s sweet or savory. Um, and uh, depending on where you're from, people would have arguments in terms of like what kind of filling would be the proper one. Um, near the end of the feast, um, it's also tradition, tradition for uh, an adult or an uh, elder member of the family to give children a sealed red envelope that has uh, money in it it's basically an idea of like it's, uh, it's saying good luck um hope you have a good uh, good new year and um it's also going to be really rude for the recipient of the red envelope to open the envelope in front of them because the idea is you you do that after you leave their residence um Right after the clock ticks past like midnight, um, you're going to like hear a lot of fireworks um, because like in, in, the, in the folklore, um, there's a story that a uh, monster would come to, um, uh, would, would come to like t different towns and, um, and it's carnivorous. So the idea is to have uh, to set off firecrackers and fireworks to scare off the the monster, which it pretty much just symbolizes bad, bad luck, um, and that's why um, the fireworks. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you, and Gong Hei Fat Choi, which is um, the Cantonese uh, for hope you have a good fortune, and Xin Nian Kuai Le, which is um, Happy New Year in Mandarin.